Hello and welcome to another episode of Chess Tactics. Did you hear? I hope you're doing fine. Today we'll try to solve five chess puzzles, so let's get started. If you're new to this channel, I'm a noob trying to improve at chess and I post videos of my live games and training sessions online in the hope that people like you will help me with tips and critiques in the comment section down below. So without further ado, let's get this started. First tactic, hmm. So I can see something here. Um, maybe, maybe taking with the knight and then he will take with the bishop. So I will take with the bishop. He's going to take with the queen. But I, I, I really want to give checks somewhere around here. So the only question that I have is, should I take with the knight or with the bishop? Because I think that's the that's the main point of the tactic. And I think whenever in doubt, I should give check. So by the way, you cannot see it, but I've got on screen whether um, that's a good, I mean, a good thing or not a good thing. So I mean, whether my move was correct or not. Sorry for my terrible terrible uh, English okay so now <clears throat> I've got two options either take and then he takes back and then I come he over here with the queen um, but in that case he could simply block so or give him check and then he could go places yeah I think giving check is the is the correct is the correct answer yeah because now I can, I'm uncertain whether, whether to check, give check, because then, no, I think I should, I should take with the bishop. And now I should take with the queen. If my computer doesn't stall, yeah. That's the solution of the first puzzle. I will be doing five, I remind you. Oh, this is... Once again, a variation on a theme that I really adore. Um, I think right now I will have to take with the bishop. And then after that, I can come over here with the knight. Yep. That's the case. Checkmate. Yeah. Second puzzle. Done. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so what to do here? So my thinking is that I am I could either I could either accept to trade here or check him somehow. So let's let me let me just see. If I interrupt the communication between the two rooks, then he could take and then I could take no, that's that's a bad, bad idea. So rook to e6 is a bad idea. Mm. Rook to e8, then he takes. Then I, I've got a feeling that there is a sacrifice to make. Maybe rook to g2, he takes. Or white takes. Queen to h2. Black on, black's only escape square is... Um, is to go back. Then I could go like... Uh-uh, I cannot go like that. Oh, but then I could go like this. Yeah, I I like this because then I could I could actually maybe yeah. Uh, okay, so now I think the right choice would be this one. Now, um, oh, there is a checkmate here, right? Queen um, Queen F two. I was doing all my crazy calculations and stuff. <laughs> and that's the third puzzle. Let's move on to the fourth. 
Yeah. Okay, so. Okay, so. Well, I really like the idea of bishop b4. Right here. Um, because then there are some cool things with the knight. Um, yeah, I think I do like the idea of bishop b4. Because then he is like, I mean, he has to take, he could give, he could give check, but then he would have two pieces. Yeah, then this is the, I think this is the correct move. Yeah. And now, I think that's the answer to the puzzle. Let's see, my computer is quite slow today. Quite slow today. <laughs> All right, fourth puzzle done. I'm not using any engine, not cheating. Today is like just like a crazy day. Okay. Mm. How do we actually win this one? If there wasn't the knight on c3, I think I could I could go ahead and do a move like rook e2, so that the communication between the queen and the pawn would be interrupted, and I could deliver checkmate. So I think here the question is that I have to remove a defender. How? Let's see, if I move my queen on h2, then he will take. And then I will take, and he will take, and I will take, and I will give check on these two squares. Uh, so he's here, he would have to move um, here. But then what? Then I could give check. He would have to move somewhere else, and I would take this. And I would be left with a queen for... No, 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 no. That's that's not uh, that's not a good plan. But what's the plan then? I really don't know, to be honest with you. I really don't know. Maybe Ah, oh, that's hard. It's hard for me because I'm not seeing anything. I was just up to say Okay, so maybe maybe queen queen g3 that could be a move. Mm -mm. Oh now I see now I see even even if I even if he takes with the knight then I could deliver checkmate right that's it I had to my thinking was that I had to put one, I had to put one of my pieces between the queen and the pawn but instead I had to put one of his pieces between the queen and the pawn and the knight was was there exactly for that reason well I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a thumbs up um, and feel free, please, to leave me a comment down below by saying in which areas of my thinking I could have improved. As always, thank you so very much for watching. Bye.